Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to make a video today sharing with you two niches that I found that are starting to trend on uh, Merch by Amazon. But before I share with you those two niches, I want to share with you my two print-on-demand courses that I'm selling on Gumroad. So the first one is a Merch by Amazon Masterclass. It's a step-by-step -step beginner's guide for mastering Merch by Amazon. It's only $39.99. You get 16 lessons. It's over an hour of content. I teach you a whole bunch of good stuff about how to like cross niche, niche down, scale your designs, how to check for trademarks, how to keep your account safe, how to design design, design styles, hiring designers, where to find designs, um, you know, how to find trendy niches, a lot of good stuff like that. Um, this course is good for beginners or for people that are struggling to get sales on Merch by Amazon. And then I also have one for Redbubble as well. Right here you'll see Redbubble Masterclass, a step-by-step -step guide for mastering Redbubble. Also only $39.99. This one comes with 20 lessons and it's also over an hour of content. Also good for people that are struggling to get sales on Redbubble or for beginners on Redbubble as well. Um, if we take a look at my credentials, you're going to see I'm a, on Merch by Amazon. I'm a tier 8,000 seller. I've made over 11,000 sales and I've done over $37,000 in royalties. And if we go to my Redbubble dashboard, over the past year, I did over $2,000. My best month was in June where I did a total of 317 So if you're interested in those courses, the links will be in the description and I'll also have them as a pinned comment. Okay, so now let's get into the content of the video. So the first niche that I have for you is going to be uh, living the dream one nightmare at a time. And actually, I found this on Redbubble. Uh, one of the things I teach in my Redbubble course is that when you're on Redbubble and you can just go into like the, um, the search bar right here, you can just start like typing in letters. And you'll see here when it has like the little uh, arrow going up like the stock market that means it's trending and so you can just kind of like type in letters and just kind of see what's kind of trending to get some ideas and so I was just doing a little research and I saw that this um, uh, phrase right here was trending and I went to Amazon and when I searched on Amazon I saw that there's only 195 results and when I looked at some of the results the, actually the BSRs were actually pretty good so this one right here it has a 608 BSR it was uh, uploaded a couple months ago in November. And there's a couple other ones that are similar like that as well with uh, good BSRs. And like here's another one right here, 680. This one was also uploaded in December. Now, I do not know why this is trending. Whenever you find a niche that's trending, you always want to ask yourself, okay, so why is this trending? And you, all, you want to do a little research just to make sure that you're not uploading something that might get you in trouble. So I just went to Google and I just did a quick Google search, living the dream one nightmare at a time. And, you know, because sometimes you might be uploading like a lyric to a song or like something from like a Netflix series, you know, you want to stay away from that stuff. So always just double check and always just ask yourself, okay, why is this trending? And uh, you can see here that when I do a little Google research, I'm not seeing anything that pops up. Everything's just basically t-shirts. Uh, so this uh, niche looks like it is safe. When I go to test and I type it in the, the phrase here to test and we hit enter, we will see that nothing pops up as well, so it's not trademarked. If we look at the competition on Etsy, uh, we're going to see that there's only 503 results, so this would be really easy to uh, rank on the first page for this keyword. Redbubble, we already know it's trending on this uh, website, but if we look at the competition, 237. Um, when a, a niche is below 1,000 results on Redbubble, that's pretty good in my opinion. Usually, um, when a uh, a phrase is trending on treble on red bubble there's a lot more uh, results a lot more designs a lot more competition and when we go to T public I'm only seeing it looks like three results here four five actually these ones actually have the same too but these don't look like the best designs it's only like three good comp uh, three people that you'd be competing with so T public could be another good opportunity as well um, so that's the uh, first niche that I have for you guys and the second niche that I have for you guys is also a niche or a phrase that I found on Redbubble as well, which is stepmom hunting. You can see here, we see the little arrow going up. Um, and we, when we go to Amazon and we look at the results, there's only 414 results. And here are what some of the designs are looking like. This is very easy to design for. Um, you can see they have some, uh, not the best BSRs, but they're selling and they were recently uploaded. So December 3rd, December 4th, just about a month ago. So these designs are selling now. I would try and do something just a little more unique. Obviously, you don't just want to do like stepmom hunting. You know, maybe put like um, change one of the letters like the like the O for a heart or just use some type of hunting uh, graphic and, you know, in the design just to try and be like a little more unique. Um, 
if we go and take a look on test to see if this is trademark stepmom step hunting nothing pops up the competition on amazon is also i'm sorry on etsy is low only 887 so like maybe you can use like a little bullseye or something like that where the o is to try and get like creative um, and if we go to Redbubble where it's trending, the results are only 440, again under 1,000, so that's a good sign. And let's see what T Public has. So, like, this is kind of what I'm talking about right here. Um, yeah, low competition as well. So, those are the two niches that I have for you guys right now. You know, this is January, so it's a pretty slow time on March. It's probably the slowest month out of the year, but you can still definitely get the sales. There's still niches, but there's just not a whole bunch of things kind of trending right now. This is mainly like the, you know, the Damar Hamlin um, t shirts that are kind of trending the best. But I do have some upcoming videos, one that's going to be dropping on Wednesday and one that's going to be dropping on Friday that I think you guys are going to like. So, I'll make sure that you um, are subscribed and you have the notification bell click click so you don't miss those videos here is my youtube channel i uh put out content on a pretty regular basis so if you like this kind of content consider subscribing um, i basically put out videos about trending niches and you know design ideas and if you are interested in those courses if you're struggling to get sales on merch or if you're struggling to get sales on redbubble or if you're just like a beginner, you know, you might want to consider checking out those courses. It's uh, pretty in-depth and it's helped me get a lot of sales over the years. All right. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.